explosion. A typical example of explosion is a gunshot. Before the gunshot, the gun does not move and the bullet also not moving. Therefore, the sum of momentum before the explosion is zero. How about the sum of momentum after the gunshot? The sum of momentum after the gunshot must also be zero because according to the principle of conservation of momentum, the momentum after a reaction must be equal to the momentum before the reaction. The momentum before the reaction is zero. Therefore, the momentum after the reaction must also be zero. Now, let's look at the equation. This time, the U1 and U2 is zero because the gun and the bullet do not move before the explosion. Therefore, the equation becomes zero equal to M1V1 plus M2V2. When the gun is fired, the bullets move forward while the gun recoils backward. If the momentum of the bullet is 30 kg meter per second, then the momentum of the gun must be negative 30 kg meter per second, so that the sum of momentum still zero after the explosion. The sum of momentum after the reaction must always equal to the sum of momentum before the reaction. The negative sign suggests that the gun moves in the opposite directions of the bullet.